Blog Talk Radio. It's the Ed Show, not the Ted Show. It's the sit back, relax in your bed show. It's the Ed Show. Come on to the Ed Show. You can talk to Ed on the Ed Show. Hey, everybody. Uh Uh-oh, I hear echo when I'm talking. Did you hear that, number one nine? No, I don't hear it yet. I think it's okay. Oh, Oh, me and my ears are doing double time again. I don't know. It's, uh, Jesus Christ, it's hot. (sighs) My ears are already sweating, man. It's only 7.01 in like two seconds. I don't know. It's Thursday night again, and, and, uh, our show is called The Ed Show. It's uh, capital T-H-E, capital E-D, capital S-H-O-E, I mean S-H-O-W. Show. The Ed Show. Now, listen. I, uh, I'm leaving the Goodbye Auto Auction right now. And do you know why I was there in the morning nine? Uh, I believe you're attending an auto auction with your buddy, Honky White Sucker. Yeah, yeah. The auction, uh, we got there about 4 o'clock to look at the car, see what kind of shit they had over there. And uh, and uh, they had 36 cars available to auction on. You there? Yeah, that's a lot of cars, Dad. Yeah, why do you keep, like, clicking on your phone, man? What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. You all right? You know, you know I can hear I got, like, super bionic ears, man. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. yeah. Listen. Super violent. Yeah. Super deluxe he is. That's what I got. But listen, we was at this, uh, it's called Goodbye Auto Auction. You can go to goodbyeautoauction.com. They ain't even pay me, and I told them about their, about their website on the show. Yeah. So they'll probably get a whole bunch more people at the auction on Saturday. So, uh, listen, I went to this place, Goodbye Auto Auction, me and my buddy. Hunky White Sucker, he needed a ride up there. He brought $500 in cash with him to this auction to buy a car. Now, we didn't know if $500 would be enough to buy a car. So, 36 cars. Auction started at 6 o'clock. Just an hour ago, the auction started with 36 cars. Also, they give you a raffle ticket. And you could win a hundred dollars if they call out your number. And uh, I get to that story first. On the raffle at the end of the auction, they call the number one seven eight six two seven. I look at my ticket. I got one seven eight six two six. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> I didn't get nothing. The guy behind me, who who uh, signed up. Right after me, got the winning ticket. Goddamn Mexicans. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, you should have seen how many Mexicans was at this uh, auto auction place, man. And they even had a Mexican truck pull up with food in it. (laughs) They had all that music playing and stuff on the truck. Smelling like burritos and goddamn sausage feet and everything, man. Well, well, Ed, how many people were at the auction uh, total? Uh, everybody. Oh, man. About 250, I bet. We're probably at this goddamn thing, man. For yeah. 36 cars. So, uh, now, did, did you have to sit in chair, like folding chairs outside, and like raise a little sign whenever you wanted to bid or anything? Like, did you ever see on TV sit, when they get off? No, we sit in the, in the bleachers. They had like uh-huh. some bleachers, and we was on the top row, standing on the top row of the bleachers with our numbers. I put my number in my pocket because I didn't want to get caught bidding on something I didn't want. Yeah. I, I didn't want to bid. I just wanted to get a raffle ticket try to win $100. They do that all the time on the TV shows. Like, uh, people accidentally bid on something, and then they get stuck paying for it. it didn't, wasn't there an episode of Sanford and Son where that happened? I don't know, and I ain't going to do it. Yeah, I think so. I, I think would never was. do it. So, the first car that came out was a 1998 Hyundai Accent. Oh, it's a nice ride right there. Yeah. It had 126,000 miles on it. So it's dependable. Yeah, yeah that motherfucker go. 
But uh, the goddamn car, they said uh, two hundred dollars. Honky white sucker, put his sticker up. Somebody said two twenty five, two fifty, two seventy five, three seventy five. Honky white sucker had his had his ticket up at three seventy five, and somebody bid four hundred. And uh, I said, go to four twenty five, go to four twenty five. Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. Sold for four hundred dollars, man. He was twenty five dollars short on that one. He didn't get it. He didn't buy it. So then they went through all these goddamn cars, man. A whole bunch of cars. Then they get to a, a 2004 Chrysler Sabreme. Sabreme? S E, no, capital S E B R I N G. Sabreme. Uh, Sebring. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so they had that. They got that. And uh, you know those people bid. Forty four hundred dollars on that goddamn car. Wow. Can you believe that? I still I got cannot. two suckers. I still got two suckers in my car. <laughs> oh shit. Somebody had a tire on the freeway and I was ran over it. <laughs> you alright? I, I was looking down the sucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. I almost went in somebody else's lane. Jesus Christ. Oh, dear, be careful. Right I just waved at the lady. Uh, she she put her middle finger up in Jesus. Oh no. <laughs> You kind, of de- you kind of deserved it, though, the Ed. You, you, wonder, huh? you kind of deserved it, though. You almost caused an accident with her. No, nah, man, somebody threw a tire out in front of me. Oh. You're driving. Brock Lesnar's fighting UFC billboard. I see it right now. Lesnar versus Mir. Yeah, that's UFC 100. Did well, the know. Ed, uh, did Honky White Sucker get a car? Well, let me tell you. The next time he tried to bid, look at this story. We were sitting there after they started bidding all this money on these cars. I said, man, you ain't getting no car here, man. And uh, they came out and they said, Mitsubishi Eclipse, 1998. And uh, the bidding was like 250 and no one else was bidding. He threw a sticker up, 275 They said 300 325 And the Hunky White Sucker put 325 up and they said, sold for 325 Nice. So... So, he's got a 1998 Mitsubishi Eclipse. But now listen to this. He goes in to go pay for it, gets the paperwork. We had been talking. It wasn't the Mitsubishi Eclipse, and it wasn't a 1998. He ended up winning a 1993 or 95, I can't remember, Mitsubishi Diamante. Hmm. So. Yeah, I don't know what one of those cars looks like, but it sounds very nice. Black. Yeah, it sounds classy. Diamante sounds like a fancy yeah. word. <laughs> yeah. I can't get this goddamn sucker open. <laughs> goddamn rapper, man. They put these rappers on here so tight like they goddamn head proof them or something, man. I don't know. Well, what what, what flavor uh, sucker do you have there, the Ed? Red. Oh, red. That's a really good flavor, yeah. Yeah. It's probably the best. Got it. Yeah, the red ones is the best ones. Yeah. I don't like, I don't like blue. Yeah, blue is sometimes good. sour and get all on your teeth and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get so, got that thing open. So Honky White Sucker got a, a, a car there for three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Is that what you said? Or three twenty-five? Three twenty-five, and then you had to pay like a key fee and all kind of other stuff. It came to four hundred and twelve dollars for the car. And uh, he just, right when my show started, he was pulling off with it. So I don't know if he made it home or not because, ha, listen to this. Because uh-huh. the car got stuck on my mouth now. Right. Yeah. So, well, well, the Ed, I hate, I hate to interrupt you, but we do have a caller on the line. And I know you were expecting a, a certain special caller. I don't know if it's her, but maybe we should check. I'll put her on. I don't care. Well, I don't know if it's a her. It could be a him, but we'll, we'll find uh, out. Put him on. All right. Uh. Caller in the 559 area code, are you there? Yes, I am. Ooh. Hey, caller, what's your name is? This is Shantae. Miss Ed USA. Oh, hey. uh, this is no. Miss Ed USA. <laughs> Close. Is it? But no cigar. Uh, no, no. <laughs> you lied. What's your I name? I didn't is? lie. It's Shantae name? Clark Methham. Shantae. I oh, Sandy yeah. one, not me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Right. You're you the girl I'm supposed to have a pillow fight with on a, on a Facebook. <laughs> That's right. You I didn't know, get me back we, yet. How do I do it? <laughs> Click on there where it says uh, do something back to her. 
Yeah, I don't I don't know if you want the Ed doing that. <laughs> I know. Because I, I called number one nine. I said, hey, man, I'm supposed to have a, I have a pillow fight with this girl, and I got my pillow, but I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said no. it right by my computer. I got a, I got an old big goose down pillow. All right. I'll be ready. I was going, I'll, yeah, I'm ready. Of course I am. <laughs> You yeah, but yeah, you, with it. You, was in the, you, you, you've you been real nice. You always get on the space book and, and say, hey, Ed, you're a nice kid, and all yeah. this stuff like that, and, and I appreciate it. You're one of the best people. You live in California, oh, huh? So. Yes, I in am. California? Yeah. yeah I thought mm-hmm. that was right. I'm, I'm in Still Nevada. I know. I might have to come visit. I'm telling you, I ain't too far. Well, what, too what about far. that, Ed? In a plane or a car, we go to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. I don't know. I I'm thinking it. about coming in August to go see Aerosmith. Oh, no. I'll go. Yeah. I don't care. Want me to go with you? <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. Who are you going? You got, you taking, you taking a man? Right now, on? I'm not, I'm taking myself right now. Oh, uh, well, just come on by yourself. I don't yourself. have that yet. Come on by yourself. I mean, I think that okay. that'd be a good time. And uh, this sucker tastes good. <laughs> what I'm flavor not. is it? Red. Red. <laughs> okay. Now, it's one of them cookie pops. Once you bite into it, it's got a cookie roll in the middle. How many licks does it take to get there, you think? I don't know. I did 12 already. 13. <laughs> Oh my god. Sixteen. Seventeen. Well, well yeah, maybe maybe we'll do that a little later. Maybe just keep yeah. talking yeah, keep talking to your guest, yeah. Maybe you can do that a little later. What's that? The Ed? Hello. I, I think we lost the Ed. We lost him. Oh no. He's still counting. Yeah, that's a... Now, now, Shantae, you were up from Inside yeah. USA, and I believe you finished third, right? Is that what happened? I think so. Yeah, still very good. I, I got confused by the uh, runner-up and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I think the Ed got a little confused, too. And, hey, he's back on the line, so let's see if he's there. Okay. The, the Ed, are you there? Yep. I think I licked it yep. too hard. <laughs> yeah, you did something. Yeah, you 40, right off the line. 42, 42 licks, and I'm not even close to that damn center. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. It's going to take me about... I'll say eighteen hundred and thirty-six and a half licks. Wow! Oh my goodness! Yeah. It also yeah. take you a while. Just know my tongue will be on licking. <laughs> tongue Quite be working. Quite a disturbing thought. Yeah. Oh my girls like girls like to know that though, huh? <laughs> that I could lick eight hundred and thirty-two times. Don't wouldn't that impress a girl? You think? <laughs> yeah, you should wear a sign. I can lick 832 times. <laughs> I'll probably make one and wear it around town. There you go. <laughs> On a shirt. Yeah. So how how did you hear about my show? Because you're a girl, and most times they say my show is a sausage fest. <laughs> well, you have a friend that asked me to listen, and I did, and I liked it, and I'm still listening. Who was it? It's Homic 21. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a good 21. kid, man. He's been around since the beginning. Yeah, smart guy. Yeah. So yeah. how long have you been listening to this show? Uh, this is probably a month now. My fourth really? time. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad you listened. It's great. I'm glad. I wish you would have won Miss Ed USA. You was up there. I tried. I, I didn't know. ask. I didn't ask for votes like other people did, though. So Ooh. see, that was like, oh I'm yeah, that's what I want to see. <laughs> you should challenge. Yeah. You should challenge her to a pillow fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be good. I like to see that. You guys come out here to Las Vegas. We we'll do it on pay per view. Do it. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. The forty-one year old against the twenty-something year old probably wouldn't. <laughs> you too good. You, fo- you say you're forty-one. I am forty-one years old. Good looking for 41. Thank you. Yeah, I don't believe you're 41. Oh, well, I have a license. It, it'll tell you. Well, yeah, you might be there if you got a license. I am. <laughs> I have a 22-year-old <laughs> son. I even have a 22-year-old son. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Man. So, yeah. 
So that means you was 13 when you had a baby. <laughs> no. Right, right. 19. <laughs> 19, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Close. Yeah, yeah, pretty close, yeah. Now, what you have the teen in there. What you do in California? What, you like a gymnast or something? <laughs> mm. <laughs> nope, actually, I watch kids. You babysit? I take care of babies, yeah. I got a baby. Yeah. I know, and you're trying to potty train her, right? Man, I don't know what the heck's going on with this goddamn kid, man. This kid ruined four <laughs> pairs of underwear today. <laughs> four? Just today? Yes! Wow. I said, hey, man, you got a pee? Nope. Next thing I know, I had an accident. I'm like, what? Yep. That ain't no accident. That's on purpose. <laughs> well, because you can't... You have to take them in there, Ed. You can't just ask them. You have to say it's time for you to go, and you take them in there. That's the ticket. I'm all that. This goddamn kid got to know. <laughs> he always be trying to do it too during like Maury Povich. Mm-hmm. Every time <laughs> make accident. I'm like, listen, man. I gotta hear what happened on the end of this story, man. Is he the daddy or not? <laughs> I mean, oh. some of them shows is is, is what's called riveting. I, I mean, think they're I, all pretty much some, in that show. I sometimes I just got to know, man. Some I, like my TiVo. I had thirty six episodes of Maury Povich on my TiVo the other day. Wow! And it had to have been all the same episode because they don't change. <laughs> no, no, they was different people. Okay. Different people. Yeah, they had different. I mean, the topics is pretty much the same. They had one. Mm -hmm. They had one topic where it was like, can you pick out the the man? And they was like, oh, yeah, man, I've seen that one. Up, and man, I couldn't do it. I was like, I you was should see a lot of. <laughs> you should see a lot of that in Vegas, though, right? Where you can't tell whether it's a man or a woman. That ain't never happened to me, though. Uh, uh -uh. <laughs> Did it ever happen to Franklin in the end? Yeah. <laughs> Franklin, Franklin give a girl a hundred and fifty dollars, and uh, he said, "Man, she wouldn't let me touch on her or nothing." And uh, then about about a month later, we was at a bar, and we seen a guy, and the guy said, hey, Franklin. And Franklin <laughs> like, hey, what's going on? He's like, you don't remember me, huh? And then, nope. And he said, my name was Loretta when you when you hooked up with me. <laughs> and Franklin like, what the hell is this, man? Oh, no. And, uh, oh, no. Yeah, Franklin didn't like that. Franklin says, he ain't no gay. <laughs> Uh uh. He ain't no gay. Well, I don't know. No, that's good. I don't trust him no no more. <laughs> he got anyway. He got, yeah, he might he might be kind of on the on the other side of the log. I don't know. <laughs> you know. Honky white sucker left a Dr Pepper in my car. Uh oh. So uh, what's wrong with him? You have any left in there? I ain't drinking it after him, man. He's nasty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go in this convenience store and get me a drink. I need to get water. I need a water. W-A-T-T-E-R. Water. That's very close. Get that going. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait till you come out to Las Vegas. I'll give you some money. We will gamble. Oh, I'll lose it quick. I'm not good at gambling. Terrible. What are you? What are you good at? <laughs> no, the yet. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I just asked a question. That's an. That's, that's up to interpretation, I guess. No, I mean, I mean, you play cards, or you shoot dice, or. No, nope. I don't know how to do that stuff. I've only done slots. I've tried blackjack, and I don't know all the hand gestures and stuff. It makes me too nervous to try that. So. You're not good with your hands. <laughs> oh yeah, please. <laughs> no, because you got to know what's going on. Ninety-nine cents for oh, yeah. water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about me. Oh, the other Arrow, bottle of water. Arrowhead water. Now I'm putting my change in the uh, video poker machine. There oh, this will be exciting. Maybe you'll win right live on the air. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I got. This was ninety-nine cents to give her four ones. We're gonna go over here and put it in here. Try nickels. You'll know, see what happens. Then, uh, so, so what else going on, Shantae? I, I gotta know. 
I'm going to Pismo tomorrow. You know where that is? Pismo, Pismo Pismo Beach. Not Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania where the Danes live at. (laughs) No, Number no, one, the, I, I, live in Pits, I live near Pittsburgh, the end. That's not true. She's going to Pismo Beach. Pismo Beach. What's that, a new beach? <laughs> no. I never heard of that one. A Bismo Beach. You heard of Morro Bay? Uh, Myrtle Beach? Yeah, that's in South Carolina. <laughs> oh, wow. The, You're the Ed, way off. The Ed, do you like going to the beach? Uh-uh. Why not? Well, now I can swim, so That's right. I got you my graduated. diploma the other day, yesterday. Yeah. What's the temperature now at, in Vegas? Yeah, it's probably 100 degrees. Mm. I'm going to play Deuces Wild, because I like when everything's right. wild. Uh, I got a 7, 8, a 9, and a 10. Hold those, and I got a king. Didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, darn it. Didn't work. Not the loser. That's uh, how I play. Get a one in here. Oh, I got full house. Give me 15 nickels, 75 cents. I got two tens. I'm going to hold those. No, nope, lost again. Oh, I got a two jacks and a wild card. And a full house is another 15 nickels. I started out with $5. I got $4. And tw- no, I started out with $4. I got $4.25. If I get to six bucks, I'm quitting. Uh, oh, so you're just going to play video poker the rest of the show? No, if I get to six bucks. I, I got get two eggs. Yeah. But now I got two kings, three kings. I got three dollars seventy-five cents now. Let's see what I can get. Two sevens. Ooh, full house again. Now I got three. I got back to four dollars. All right, hold on. No nope, loser. But the Ed, you're you're neglecting your guest. It's okay. All right, we're, we're go on talk. I'm going to talk about. <laughs> I like her a lot. She's a good friend. Me she too. probably. I'm thinking about, I don't know if she's married or got a boyfriend or anything, but I'd probably marry her. <laughs> oh, you'd marry her? Yeah, uh, it don't matter. Yeah. No, no, it don't matter. The, the Ed, how many times have you been married in your life, the Ed? Officially? Officially, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've got five dollars, one more dollar, and I quit. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's been a it's been a, a little bit of people. <laughs> a little bit of people. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't like Now it. you told me you told me if I came out there that we could get married at one of the chapels and I wanted to go to the drive through one, remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, and then we could do that because it don't take long to do it. <laughs> Just go on and say I do right now. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh, I think you guys are married. All right. Yep. Congra- mm. Congratulations. Thank All you. All right. Don't tell everybody. Okay. I look, I got $5. I got one more dollar to get to. Come on. God dang it. Come on. Think I can do it? No, I really don't. Why? I don't know. I think I'm you're going to lose I'm like three in a row. Uh, no, I just won. I'm not like Cody mm-hmm. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> another, another one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, I got full 25. Darn it. Yeah, Where's yeah, the comic is... 21 at tonight? Where is he what? Where is he at tonight? At his home. Oh. 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 And you're at home, too? Yep. Ah. And then, He's see, number one, number one nine says my show is a family show. Do you believe that? Yeah, the Ed likes to curse and swear and stuff, and I try to get him to calm down. You know, it's a family show. Little kids are listening, and he, he likes to work blue. Ah, uh, I'm making a, I'm making a CD. Mhm. And uh, it's gonna be called the Ed Live on the Las Vegas Strip. That's a pretty good name. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, and I'm gonna talk about stuff that I've never talked about before. And you can only hear it on that CD. Yeah. You think anybody will buy it, or am I wasting my time? Well, if you say stuff you never said before, it's a pretty good chance, because I'll want to hear it. That's right. I don't know. They'll be intrigued. Hey, I, I bl- hey Shantae, I believe Atomic 21 huh. or- ordered a uh, the Ed T-shirt. Uh, yeah, I think he got one in pink by chance. 
Um, yeah, that's right. He did, I think. Yeah. He yeah, ordered a pink one. I might own, yeah, I might own that shirt. Wow. You, got you own it. it. Yeah, I do. Wow, look at it? that, Ed. Did you wear it? Yeah. No, uh, it's a ha- it's a handsome shirt, right? Yep. Yeah. You should see where Ed's head lands, right in the middle. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I never thought right. of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't I'll wait. say no more. Can't wait for you to put that on again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to take a picture and put it on Facebook for you. <laughs> oh my! Goodness. That would drive me crazy. Hey, I got a great plus. Look, I got my six bucks. Oh, you won six you bucks. Did? Did you did. Wow, Hold on, oh, I'm up to five dollars. I was down so far. <laughs> I thought I got it, but I didn't got it. Oh, darn it! Yeah, got it. So I All don't right. know. Well, uh, Shantae, is there anything else you'd like to talk <laughs> to the other about? Because I, I believe we have another caller on the line. Maybe we can go there. Okay. No. But, uh, well, I you can call. call. You can call any time in America if you want. I got another. I got my six books. I'm done. Oh, All right, cool, Ed. Yeah. Congrats. Seven seven dollars twenty five cents. Wow. Oh, bonus. Yeah. You should uh, share that with Shantae. You should send her a little bit. Yeah, How there you go. You should give number one nine your address and it'll come your <laughs> way. Okay. He takes care of all that stuff for me. Yeah. I need I someone like that. that. Yeah. I don't know. I take <laughs> care of a lot of stuff. Just I'm not good at a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, other stuff you are good at. Yeah. So don't worry yeah. about it. All right, Shantae, thanks for calling. Okay. Appreciate it. Cool, you guys. And, uh, thanks. There she goes, Shantae. All right, have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. How about that, Ed? Uh, one of your uh, favorite ladies called the show. Hold on. I think we lost Ed again. Hold on. Blog talk's being very slow. Ed, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. I thought, I thought we lost you there for a second. All right, Ed, you ready to take another caller? Yep. And by the way, uh, let's just give out the phone number real quick in case anyone else wants to call. Uh, 646-716-7522. 646-716-7522. Caller in the 925 area code. Are you there? Good evening, gentlemen. How you guys yeah, doing? Yeah, that's right. It's Irv. Hello? 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 How you guys? It, Who it's is it? Irv. It's Irv, the Ed. Hi there. Hey, what's going on, man? Where you been at? Well, I've been with my girlfriend, so, you know, we've been trying to <laughs> get things together. So, the Ed, the Ed, why are you laughing when the Ur- Herb says he's with his girlfriend? <laughs> Put him on the phone. I want to talk to this guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. His girlfriend, the Ed. Yeah. Hey, listen, Herb, are you there? Yes, I am. I'm here. Listen, the Ed. <laughs> I got to talk to you about something, man. Listen. Okay. We got a, we got a, we got a, remember I called you a couple weeks ago and I said, Herb, hey man, you on Twitter? And you told me no, right? right. That is somebody, true. somebody is impersonating you on the Twitter, talking about, oh, you really nice guy, and all these trash like that. It's not me. I've never been on Twitter. I know what it is, but I do not have an account on Twitter. I don't have an account on Facebook. I know what they are, but no, it's not me. Someone is stepping in and impersonating security guy Irv, and they need to be arrested. <laughs> no, that's right. That's what I thought. I, I knew it wasn't you because you had told me, and I told number one nine, and I even wrote a story about it in Ed Times, and I put that picture of you in there that you had given me. Yeah, well, I, I think, heard about I think that was a picture. monkey, the Ed. I don't think it was Irv. I was a monkey in a police outfit. I'm much thinner than that. <laughs> no, I, I've seen you. <laughs> kind of big. I'm a little thinner. Hey, uh, now listen to this, number one nine. Uh-huh. Security guy Irv invited me to California with him to go look at some football men. And, and, when, you say, and when you say football men, you mean the McFarland football men, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, and that's why, that's why I'm hoping. Hey, man, you're yeah. not talking about going looking at some goddamn <laughs> men in some shorts, is you? Heck no. Now, I'll leave no. that up to Franklin and, and his little creepy stuff with his little guy, girl. That, see, that's creepy. That's yeah. really creepy. Like that Conan Bryant. 
that Kobe Bryant guy or Cody Ryan or whatever you call him, he's always making those Joker faces. Remember the Joker from, from the Dark Knight and making all those creepy faces? That's what Kobe does. Now, that guy is creepy. Yeah, yeah that is and a little basketball creepy. Basketball season was a long time ago. We don't need to talk about that. Yeah, yeah it was like three days ago. But the Ed, so are you going to go to California with Irv? What's the name of the place you said we was going to go to? It's called Frankenstein's. It's a very famous place. It has every kind of toy possible. Anything from Disney cars, Star Wars, McFarland. Uh-oh. I don't want no Disney. Irv, you still there? I am still here. Oh, uh, your phone is breaking up a little bit there. but uh, sorry. Can you hear me now? A little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Good. So yeah, it has everything. It's it's like it's like the Costco of toys. It's it's marvelous. Well, I might go up there, man, with you. Who's gonna? Okay. Uh, who gonna go? Cause I I need to go get a bunch of football guys, cause they're making some new guys like in their college uniforms and stuff. Well, you, me, and my girlfriend can go. Huh? huh? My girlfriend, you and I can go. We can all go together. That would be fun. And you could finally meet her. She's a really nice woman. Just, just like you're a really nice guy. You too, number one nine. Thank you. You weren't in Pittsburgh. You could come too. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Yeah. But the Ed, I think this sounds uh, tremendous. You and Irv on the road, like uh, Bing Crosby and Bob Hope in those old movies. You could, you could go out there and see the McFarland men. Hey, the Ed, maybe you guys can do a show while you're driving out there. Like we can do a, a show live while you're driving out. What do you think? Marvelous idea, one number yeah. one nine. That's why you're running the show there. <laughs> That's right. I don't. We probably could do it. I don't know. That would be really cool. What, when are you guys gonna go? Not sure when. Um, it has to be a weekend where I'm not working and you know where the Ed is free. I think the Ed's pretty much always free, but. Uh... Okay. So no, the editor. How about you and Irv? Uh, that's a lot of driving. Where's this place at, Irv? And you said in California. So. Yes, this is in Los Angeles, approximately four hours away from here. So not yeah. too bad. You know, we can be we can be mildly entertained. I can, you know, bring my my CDs of I don't know uh, some Snoop Dogg and <laughs> you know I I try to be hip and you know listen to some Jay Z. Wow, how about I, that, the Ed? I thought you listened to Culture Club. <laughs> no, that's not no that boy George guy. He's kind of creepy to me. I don't listen to that kind of music. The only eighty stuff I like is like Earth, Wind and Fire and Chicago. Really good bands. That Culture Club. Boy, I don't like those guys dressed as women. That's that's not my speed. I thought somebody told me that all your security officers wore Michael Jackson beat it jackets. Oh no <laughs> no no no. We we don't we don't wear those. It's too hot out here in Vegas for those things. Everybody wears short sleeve shirts. It's too hot. Africa hot out here. <laughs> that's right. Now, uh, now, yeah, that's a lot of driving, though. Four hours to uh, Los Angeles, four hours back. No, uh, you can drive. I ain't driving. I'll ride. But, but maybe you and the Irv, uh, I know the Irv, that'll probably tire you out all that driving. Maybe you guys should stop and, like, I don't know, spend the night at a motel or something on the way back. No, that's not a good idea. You, oh, you don't think? Nah, nah, it's it's too short of a drive to stay at a hotel. Mm. We can just drive straight there and drive back, and the Ed can look at his football men in the back of the car, and he can do his whatever, his thing, whatever that may be. My girlfriend can drive, though. Oh, your girlfriend. Yeah, how about you tell us a little bit about your girlfriend, Irv? Well, she's really nice. She's kind of tall. That she's taller than me. She's a really nice so, guy. No, she's a woman. She's a really nice woman. If if she wasn't doing her makeup right now because she's getting ready to go out, I'd have you talk to her. But maybe next time I'll have you talk to her. She's really cool. I wouldn't be with her if she wasn't cool. Well, what, what's her name, Irv? Her name is Cookie. Cookie? Yeah. Huh. Like Cookie Monster. <laughs> Interesting. She likes cookies. She's wow. a nice woman. So are you and Cookie going to go out on the town tonight? Is she getting all dolled up? Well, she's going out. She and, and her girlfriends are going out. And I've got to work early tomorrow morning, so i got to go to bed early. i got to go to bed at about 9.30. I all right, well, thanks for calling, man. Morning. Well, well yeah, he still has time. Yeah, he still has time. I want to hear more about her, her girlfriend, Cookie. Well, she, she's really nice. She's, again, tall, uh, blonde, you know, nice, nice lady. Yeah, I think. 
Yeah. Hey, well, Herb, we got to go because we got important calls coming in, man. So well, the Ed, actually, the line. actually, the Ed, uh, no one else is on the line right now, so we got some time. Uh, I mean, if you want to call and talk to the Ed, 646-716-7522. But otherwise, we can just talk to Irv all night. I think we got the time. Oh, because I got, I got important stories to talk about. Cool. You know, this is very interesting. The Ed always says, don't let nobody talk bad about you. But he always says bad things about me. Now, what's up with that? <laughs> yeah, what is up with that, the Ed? I got to the center of this lollipop now. Oh, how many licks? 439. Oh, 439 licks. And a, and a big old bite. <laughs> One big old bite. There you go. Well, now, now the Ed, uh, what football guys are you want to get at the uh, Franks and Sons or Frank and Sons or whatever the name of that place is? Is there any in I particular? Wanna, yeah, I want to get Brett Favre in a Falcons jersey. Oh, Brett Favre in a Falcons jersey. Well, we can do that. And then the new college guys are coming out. Uh, I think it's Peyton Manning in a Tennessee uniform and. And Ray Lewis in his college uniform. So, yeah, I, I think it would be, be great. I was just there about three weeks ago, and it was marvelous. Oh. What is that? Huh? Yeah. I don't some know. Kid, that sounds really weird. Some kid just drove by me on a bicycle, and he has a, a, uh, a water bottle stuck in the spokes of his bicycle. That's and they're making cool. that noise like a race car. Oh. Yeah. Uh, now, Irv, who, who, who'd you get on your last trip to uh, Frank and Sons? Well, ago? my my last my last trip, I picked up uh, Jonathan Chichu, the guy from the San Jose Sharks. Yeah. He's a real great player. That's our buddy Dave Damashek. Damashek, one of his favorite guys, Jonathan Chichu. Chichu and Tate. They need to call that Damashek guy. Now, see, I hear a lot about this Damashek guy, but I've never talked to him in person. And the man always gets upset with him. He's always on his list of the bad side. I'm that's glad right. I'm not on that. Yeah, the Arab, you've never been on the bad side at all. So that's, that's yeah, good. You have? You said, I don't remember. Really? He's there now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we have to update that at the end. We didn't update it this week. Hey, listen, so, I got a question. Uh -huh. Yes. Do you know how much these football people are worth? Like, I got a Josh Hamilton in the Cincinnati Reds. That was about 20 bucks. That's it? Yeah, about $20. What about Cody Ryan? And uh, he's in the yellow jersey, in the Laker jersey with 81-point game one. That one, I want to say, is about seventy to eighty dollars right now. It's pretty expensive because they just I won the championship. Four of those. I got four of those. Oh wow, wow. Ed, you're rolling the dough. I got, man. I got two, and I got two of them in a white jersey. I got four in a yellow jersey, two in a white jersey. The white ones are probably about twenty-five to thirty each, I would think. <laughs> what about <coughs> what about Derek Jeter from the All Star Game last year? Probably about twenty five, thirty dollars somewhere in that neighborhood. Really? I would think. Yeah. Right. The no helmets are the most expensive. Those are in the thousands. And How do you get those? those were like series one, series two. Those were are are very rare and, and hard to get. But Tom Brady, I think, is fifteen hundred dollars. Really, really hard to get. Hey, why don't you get me one? <laughs> well, I gotta get some money, man. You know, fifteen hundred dollars doesn't doesn't grow on trees. I don't know. Well, let's go play some blackjack. Maybe we can win some money and go to Frank and Sons and buy one of those and say, I want that one right there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Irv, uh, do you have any of the hockey guys? You said you bought a Chichu. Uh, do you have, like, Kid Crosby and uh, any other Penguins? I didn't get any of the, the Penguins. They were sold out of those, but they had quite a few Chichus. So I think I bought, I think, 35 of them. What? Yeah. 30, 35 Chichus? Yeah. Really? Yeah, really. Why did you buy How much was they worth? Well, I think... The Chichus in the Bay Area are selling for about twenty-five dollars each. How and much you buy them for? Twelve. Oh, oh. So you trying to double your money? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Irv. Here in uh, near Pittsburgh, uh, every every toy store out here, uh, all I ever saw was Chichu. They had tons oh, of Chichu. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, no one cares about Chichu out here. You know. 
well, I'm going to make a trip to the Bay Area really soon. My, my godson is graduating from, from high school, and I'm going to take those with me, and I'm going to see if I can sell them. Wow, look at Irv. He's quite the entrepreneur. I'm trying. All right, man. Well, it's been good talking to you, man. It's been on too long tonight. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you, guys. I, I appreciate the time. I love being on your show because you guys are really nice guys, and that was not me on Twitter or Facebook. It's not me. It's an impersonator. Yeah, it's yeah an it's an impersonator. Not the real Irv, so don't no, tweet him. No, not me. That guy All right, Irv. Really nice thank you, Thanks fellas. for calling, buddy. There he goes. All right, man. All yeah, right, bye-bye. Bye, Irv. There you go, security guy Irv. Now, now, yeah, that sounds uh, great. You and the Irv going on a road trip to California? Well, I don't know where that place is, and I want to go there because I heard a lot of, about the place, and if he drives, I ain't giving no gas money or nothing. I'm just going to ride. I'm going to free trip to California. I, you know? Yeah, you should take some pictures of your trip, and we can, like, blog about it and stuff on the website, and we could make don't a care. little a podcast. And, yeah, yeah, Irv I'll and talk the Ed. <laughs> That'll be great. It's like a sitcom waiting to happen. Irv and the Ed. It's Ed and Irv, man. Why would you put uh, his name in front of mine? <laughs> now, uh, once again, the phone lines are open, so if you want to call and talk to the Ed, 646-716-7522. But in the meantime, the Ed, uh, you mentioned it a little earlier, but you graduated from a uh, swimming class. You had your graduation this week. Yeah, we had our graduation yesterday to give us... Uh, cookies and, 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 and uh, you know, lemonade and stuff, and we walked across and got our little paper, and it certified us. I was I was not the best swimmer in the class. I did not get to swim the Victorian. Was it Noah? Was Noah the best swimmer? Yep, he got it. And I was proud, man. I was proud of that kid. You should see him, man. He swims like he's 30 years old. Yeah, that's pretty and, uh, good. He's only 9 tear, years old, right? Noah's yeah, only 9. A tear, a tear came to my eye when he accepted that award. Nice. I mean, because I felt like I was partly responsible for it. Yeah, you really weren't, though. I mean, you had nothing to do with it. No. Oh, man, I was there all the time. Yeah. Well, and, I, and I told him, I said, just keep on swimming, man. Whatever you do, man, just keep on swimming. Yeah. And that's what he said he's going to do. You know? Well, well, yeah, now that you know how to swim, uh, any big plans for the summer? You got, Why don't you go to the beach and, and uh, swim out there? That'll be great. Well, well you know. make it all the way over to the uh, coast there when you and the Irv go to California. Just drive, keep driving. Now, I ain't going to go swimming there. Uh -huh. But uh, the one guy, he, uh, when we went swimming in the in the pool, mm -hmm. you know, like they made us have a race on the final day to race two laps up to the top of the pool and back. And there was eight of us. And yeah. Noah came in first place. Where'd you come in? I, I was last. Uh, but uh, but the kid with one leg, he beat me. Oh, that's not good. Uh, did yeah. you have your Did you have your Spider-Man floaties on? Yeah. Uh huh. I can't. Okay. You know what? I, I I can't take them off. Why would you want to? But I don't. I don't have them on my legs no more. Though on my feet, I don't have nothing around my feet no more. I can get it to where my arms stay out and my feet stay out. But it's just like security, man. Yeah. You got kind of like, kind of like your own personal uh, security guy, Irv, on your arms. I don't know. Yeah. But I gotta All make right. sure I got it. All right, Dad. We have a caller on the line. Uh, would you like to take the call? I don't care. All right. Caller in the eight zero three area code. Are you there? <laughs> he doesn't care if we're here or not. To, uh, just one night, I'm going to tell you this is the only show where. The presence of anybody else is absolutely not necessary. <laughs> yeah, no, this voice sounds familiar. Who is this on the this line? Is High Plains, this is Grifter, High Plains Grifter. Oh, High Plains Grifter. There hey, what's your name? Is? It's uh, High Plains Grifter, Ed. It's Jeremy, right? Or David yeah. Brother? That's a, it, we're the same guy. Y'all twins? No, it's, it's me. My name is Jeremy, but I go by High Plains Grifter on the <laughs> message. Well, then you're disqualified from the last contest because you had two entries. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to have two entries. I think you just, I, I, for some reason, I think you read on the email that my name was the same and you put it on there the same. But yeah. it's just me. It's just one entry. One nine will tell you that. It's just the one entry. Yeah, I think you put him in there twice, the Ed, but it was just the one kid. I know. I kept, he kept being tied with his brother all the time. I was like, what is this? 
I well, said, these kids never, they never, I said, they ain't inseparable at first, man. Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're no brothers, just one kid. Yeah, just one. Now, listen, I got a story about this guy right here, man. You from South Carolina, right? Yeah. I got a birthday present from this guy today in the mail. Oh, I was calling. You got it, too. I got some sticky fingers hot sauce. Wow, look at that. Yeah. yeah. He told put me it to on put, your it, chicken. put it on my chicken. Yeah, it's really, no. yeah, barbecue that with your chicken, it, it, it's really tasty stuff. It looks like it. It looks yeah. tasty. Oh, he yeah, you like wrote, it. He even wrote a personal note on the bottle. Yeah, oh. I did. What, what yep, is, and I you, put it... Uh, would you like to read it yet, or is it too personal uh, to read over here? I don't got it in front of me. <laughs> oh, like, that's right, yeah, you're out driving. I'm, I'm at the park now, walking around. Yeah, it, it, walk it, around. Just, it just says to put it on the chicken, and it works good on pork and brisket. That's the personal wow. note. Yeah. Oh, Working biscuits? Yeah. I don't Brisket. I don't even put it on biscuits. No, I don't want it on biscuits. Yeah. Mm. So uh, the the other reason I was gonna call was uh one night just to congratulate you again on the on the, the Stanley Cup there, huh? Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah. That, that was, what a victory. That's pretty that's pretty, pretty impressive. impressive. That was pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah. And the so, Ed loved right. it when we talked about oh, right, the Ed. Oh, you know he does. Yeah. Oh and, and Ed, by the way, uh, congratulations on your victory over over the Dave and the, the trivia. Yeah, that's right. Well yeah. done, well done, Ed. And that guy thinks he can. He, he's trying to say I cheated, didn't he? Number one night. Yeah, the Dave keeps saying that. You know, he's like, you know, the Ed cheated, right? And I'm like, no, the Ed did not cheat. <laughs> he did not cheat. How how could I cheat? I don't understand how I could cheat. Well, I you think the hear, Dave. You could hear Dave I won. Thinks, you could hear I won. Square and fair. The Dave thinks you were uh, typing on the internet there very quietly and getting. Ah, uh, he don't know that. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. But are you are you admitting that you were? Is that what you're saying there? No, I never said that. I'm just oh, saying okay. he don't know that I was doing that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so in a way, are you saying that you were doing it? No. Okay. I, I think in a way that. he's saying what the Dave doesn't know won't hurt the Dave. Okay. I think this guy has <laughs> cue cards. He's in Los Angeles. Everywhere you go in L.A., people hold up cue cards, man. Uh, You're yeah. walking around. People tow cue cards and say hi to the guy walking by you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So you're you're saying the sass, our buddy the sass, is giving him the answers. He's holding up the answers for Dave. Of course, of course, you know it's rigged, and he's mad because I know more than he knows, and he knows I know more than he knows, so I'll know it all. Yeah. Hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. If I yeah, it stands to reason. That's right. Well, I will let you guys get back at it, but I, I did want to call and congratulate on the Stanley Cup and make sure you got the sauce. So that's good. Thanks for the hot sauce, here. man. Hey, happy birthday. Yeah, I'm sorry gonna, it was late. I'm going to put it on there. All and, right. uh, and, uh, yeah, man, I got, and then I got another shirt today, too, from somebody. It had, like, a black guy on like a Dolomite guy on it. Oh, the Ed, you know who sent that is uh, my I buddy don't Larry. Know. Our buddy Larry, who we do the hockey show with. He sent oh, that. look at it that. said Christine something on it. <laughs> really? Yeah, from um, the shipper. Huh, interesting. Well, he ordered it off the Internet, and it, he had it sent directly to you. It's a Dolomite T-shirt, because you love Dolomite. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I'm going to wear uh, that tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to get hot sauce all over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Mike, you know, the, the one thing I wanted to tell you, 219, is, is as, a, as kind of a casual hockey fan, I do appreciate appreciate the insights on your show and when you talk to Dave and stuff, because I, I don't know a lot of the strategy, but... Uh, well, thanks, I appreciate like, that. Yeah, because usually you've been following hockey lifetime. That's the, I mean, the, the way you talk about it, you've been following that a long time, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, uh, since yeah. I was like 14 or something. But uh, yeah. it's nice to hear, because usually people say, hey, uh, less hockey on the hockey show. Don't talk hockey. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Hey, how come you didn't order no T-shirt, man? Oh, you know, I missed that. Oh, gosh, I got, I got, I do need to order one. You still got some left? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll, get, I'll get one. Still got them. Okay. Still got them. All right, I'll, I'll do that. When you, when you yeah. taking them off? Yeah, the yeah, How much longer do people order T-shirts? Two more weeks. We're gonna do T-shirts for two more, more okay, weeks. Okay, I'll, I'll get one ordered by the end of the two. Weeks. Then we'll bring them back for Christmas. And they can still order any color and size they want, the Ed? Yeah, just tell me what you want, because I'm getting, the people who haven't got their shirts, they're getting made this weekend, so I'll have them, you know, Monday or Tuesday, and they should go out by Wednesday. So if you haven't got your shirt, it means it probably probably ran out of your size, and I'm yeah. getting them made, and uh, the guy said he'll have them for me this weekend, so. Yeah, yeah. our buddy, the dude from the message boards, he, he sent me an email saying, where's my shirt? You know, what gives? And uh, 
said, well, the Ed had to get it made special for you, right? Which kind did he get? What size did he get? Uh, a medium gray. A medium gray. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't get a lot of mediums made. I didn't know you guys yeah. were that goddamn small. Jesus yeah, I, I don't know what gives with everybody ordering small shirts. I know everybody wearing these goddamn skinny jeans and skinny old shirts. Yeah. I was playing as Grifter. He don't look like that. He looked like somebody's daddy. And probably <laughs> wear like a triple X. <laughs> really? Well, I probably need an XL, and I am someone's daddy. I have a seven-month-old. Seven month oh, congratulations. Yeah, he, he's, he's a delight. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, so. I know well, if you ever need parenting advice, uh, just ask the Ed. Oh, the Ed's already yeah. given me lots. Yeah. Yeah, the breakfast of the, what, what is it that you feed your baby for breakfast? It depends, man. I mean, you know, you can start out, you know, Mountain Dew. Yeah. You can put a little bit of milk in it. Put a little bit of milk. For taste. It's a Mountain right. Dew. Right. It gives it like the, some more, they say, nutrients in it. Right. You know? Right. Oh, get yeah. Some eggs and, get some eggs and sprinkle a couple of M&Ms on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. One, one no you have kids. Or you get, or you get yeah. some Cheerios. Get some oh, Cheerios. There you go. Put M&Ms all in the Cheerios. They'll eat them up, man. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any kids, but when I do, yeah, or, or, or get some like get some like that, because you want them to eat healthy and get that shredded wheat. Right. But get some hot a uh, uh, chocolate sauce, man, and pour it all over it. All right, right. Well, yeah. well the egg, you could pour your sticky fingers hot or uh, barbecue sauce or whatever on it. There. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Well, I was gonna yeah. suggest one night if you don't have kids, you should be taking notes. And yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So, Definitely, you'll want to refer back to Number one nine said if he ever has a kid, I'm going to be his kid's godfather. That's right. The Ed will well, be his godfather. Well, there you go. Yeah. There and you then go. I'll tell him, I'll tell him all kinds of stuff. It's like, <laughs> you got to listen to me. Uncle Eddie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you must be so proud, one nine. You must be so proud. I am. <laughs> I can't all right, y'all have, y'all have a good evening, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you next week. All right, I play in the right. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for calling. All right, bye. And, uh, hey, I forgot. I, I, it was number one nine. I forgot to tell you something about this about this car that Honky White Sucker had bought. Yeah, what was it again? The other ninety five Mitsubishi. Like a ninety three, ninety five Mitsubishi Diamante. Diamante. He thought he thought he got the Eclipse, and yeah. he messed up. So now, now they drove the dro- they drove the cars around and said, okay, you know, the cars are as is and all this stuff like that. So he gives his ticket after the auction to get his car. He's like, man, they taking a long time to get my car. We walk over there, they was jump starting it. Oh, I was like, yeah. oh, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's not they good. got it running. They got it running, and he drove to his house. And I told him to call me if he if he got stuck or something, but he didn't call me, so apparently he ain't stuck. Yeah, that's not what you you want to do is buy a new car and then uh, have to jump start it to get it out of the parking lot. Yeah, but it's from the auction, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. they had a lot of stuff there, man. A lot of the cars had car seats already in them for babies. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Some of them came with stuffed animals in them. Some of them came with other stuff in them, too. Yeah. But a lot of them didn't have radios in them, though. Oh, that's not good. Now, now the Ed, how's your car running? Are you still driving the van that your son bought you, the Kia, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, thing, that thing's rolling, man. I drove the backup car yesterday, man, my little Altima. Yeah, the, now, what year was that? Was that a 93 Nissan Altima? Yeah, that's brand new 93 Altima. Yeah, we haven't yep. heard about that in a while. Nah, no, it's not giving me no problem, man. I got it fixed up just right, man. Cool. No one give me no problems on it, so. It's good to hear. I good to hear. Right. Now, the end, uh, what else is going on here? we got about seven minutes left in the show. Uh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Well, um... What's coming up in well, the Ed Times? Any big stories you're about to break or anything? Well, we got the we got the wrestling contest is starting right now. We got the first four matches was up there, and everybody's voting. We probably got about 30 votes already, man. And uh, no one seems to think that the IRS and Ultimate Warrior team can win. Well, well, I know for a fact uh, I voted for that team, and so did uh, Larry. So did our buddy Larry. He voted for that. Yeah, only about five out of 30 people did, so. Mm. That's not good. I don't know. I might have to come from under the mat. Uh-oh. With You're a chair. Yeah, going to do a run-in. Yeah, know, I, might have, run in. I, I might have to, because, man, I can't have Ultimate Warrior go down in the first round. Yeah. And then, uh, 
But which which of those teams that you saw on the first page think you think has a chance to get to the finals? Because uh, those the are the Thursday, those are the Thursday Saturday games, you know, in Charlotte. The Friday yeah. Saturday Friday Sunday matchups up in Indianapolis come out tomorrow. You know, well, so which one? Which ones? Which 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 two do you think will get to the? You know. Yeah, I, I think the uh, the odds on favorite there are that first group. I think would be the Rock and uh, Shawn Michaels. That seems to be the popular choice. The Rock and Shawn Michaels. I thought Junkyard Dog and Triple H looked like a good one. Yeah, I, that's my choice. I like Junkyard Dog and Triple H. And and as a and as a dark horse, Ric Flair and Hillbilly Jim. Uh, yeah. Hillbilly Jim's a big old boy, and Ric Flair starts going, woo! Well, he says woo. 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 Yeah. yeah. To be the man, you got to beat the man. That's right. Like in sports uh, trivia, you want to be the man in sports trivia, you got to beat the Ed. Nah, he can't do it. <laughs> That's like putting rocks where grass is supposed to grow. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah. Now, uh, if you want to read the Ed Times, you can read it over at Damashek.com, the Dave Damashek Master Boards, or you can uh, go to the Ed Super Deluxe website, uh, the Ed Super Deluxe website dot com, and uh, you can read it. Little there. Jay has not called our show in a few weeks now. Hey, speaking of Little Jay, the Ed, he sent me a story for the Ed Times, and he yeah, said, it's probably going in tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to say, I forwarded it on to you, but I, I haven't heard from it yet, yet about it. So, little Jay's yeah, going to have a story. Sometimes, sometimes I make the Ed Times like two, three days in advance. Well, you have to, because that's, that's the best way to cover news, is to do it two, yeah. three days in advance. Because I, yeah. I know what's happening before it does. Yeah, that's right. See, I know if stuff's going to happen, so I write about it before it does. That's what all the good journalists do. Just like I know that two days from now the sun's going to come out. Wow. I could write about it. I could write about that definitely that Sunday morning the sun's going to be shining. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. If not, it'll be a dark day. Yeah, we'd be in a lot of trouble if, it, if not. Yeah. Yep. So L no. Little Jay's going to have a story in the Ed Times. That's, uh, that's yeah, he's, the assist he, he's been hired to be an assistant editor. But he's got to get his phone back. His daddy took his phone from him. He's been grounded for like two weeks, man. So that's why he ain't been calling us. Oh, I he see. uh he uh, got in a little bit of trouble. He don't want me to talk about that. He got in no trouble. Yeah, you don't so, want to air dirty laundry on the. On yeah, the I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna tell you that he got in trouble and got grounded. So yeah, you yeah, know. don't say that. Yeah. yeah, but guess what? What? I am friends with his sister on Facebook now. Oh yeah. And she's super hot. Really? Yep, Nicole. Oh, and, by oh, the way. Listen, listen, by yeah. the way. Oh, my God. Well, man, the next round of Miss Ed USA, which comes up around December, when Shandy's got to uh, go ahead and defend her title. She couldn't call in tonight. She let me know because she worked oh, this time a, during the show. That's what I was going to ask. So she's gonna, she was she's supposed gonna to keep, call. She gets to keep her crown. Because, you know, she got a good issue. She can't just jump off work, you know. But she yeah. emailed me and told me that she said she would call in. It, she usually work on Thursday night because she's on the East Coast, and it, it's late night. I don't know where she's stripping out or whatever she's doing. But, you know, that's what she, I don't know if that's what she does for a living or not. But uh, we could only hope so. But she uh, she's super good looking. But she told me that she was happy to be Miss Ed USA. Well, and I'm glad she good is. To good to hear. Uh, the Ed, we have about maybe 10 seconds left in the show. All right, well, don't let him talk bad about you. All right. Now it's time to say goodbye to Ed and all his friends. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to listen to my show. So get yourself a couple paychecks and go and buy a hoe. Y'all come back now. You hear? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, get your hands out my cookie jar. Ain't play golf and hit par, too tall to ride in a car. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Kareem Abdul-Jabbar